are so nice. This is so cool. You're, you're real. I like that about you. I love that about you. You know, I live in L.A. I did a show in Beverly Hills last week. A couple in the front row, so much plastic surgery, their faces were being held back by a chip clip. Yeah. Somebody gave me, for my birthday, a book. It's never too late. You're never too old. 50 people who found success after 50. That's 50 people out of 7.5 billion people in the world who found success after 50. Right. And this is what you do in bumper to bumper traffic. This is an LA trick, but it works anywhere you go. Just put your car in neutral, let the earth rotate. All right, yeah, that's all good. I wanted to get my windows tinted, and it's so expensive. I, I couldn't afford it. You know what I did instead? I bought a box of fruit roll ups. <laughs> How many baby boomers do we have in the room here tonight? Be proud, keep those hands up, because we're the coolest people here. I'll tell you why we're so cool, because we're in our second round of bell bottoms, everybody. That's right, yeah. You know how cool we are? We went to the first Rolling Stones farewell tour. All right, yeah. yeah. What does these things cost, like 50 cents? What's the next box now, like $350? Look how cool this is. Here we go. What was the best store-bought dessert you could have in your lunchbox, friends? Twinkies. Twinkies is the right answer. We had these things called Little Debbies. You know what Little Debbies are? They're like a Twinkie without the rich home-baked flavor. What do these things cost, like a million for a dollar? These things are so bad, every box has a picture of a little girl laughing at you. You know, you know one little Debbie in the microwave on high for one minute will expand and feed the whole family. That's right. That's right. And it's called a Big Debra. <laughs> I'm a little over six feet tall, friends, okay? My inseam, 32. My waist, 36. I am one yard around, everybody. 32 like this, 36 like that means that I can roll faster than I can run. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting me a tattoo, okay? A little tattoo, I'm gonna put it right here in my belly. It's gonna say, if you can read this, don't feed me anymore. That's right. Now, I shouldn't pull on my eyes like this, seriously, because I have detached retinas. Well, they're not fully detached, they're emotionally unavailable. So, that's... Uh... Crazy! My last girlfriend, and if I'm lying, I'm dying. This is what she told me. She said, I can tell that you used to be good looking. <laughs> How do you respond to that, really? Well, if I still look like that, I wouldn't be dating you. Yeah? <laughs> After a show, this so rarely happens. This really pretty woman, great personality. She comes up to me, she says, you talked about being single in your act. You're really single? I said, yeah, yes, I, I really am. She says, well, would you, would you like to go out? I said, I'd love to. She said, great, here's my grandma's phone number. <laughs> yes, yes. I don't, the thing about baseball, though, that I, that I don't like is that the managers wear the same uniforms as these world-class professional athletes. I just don't like that. You don't see it in other sports. I mean, you know, you see the swim coach come out there in his Speedos, do you? <laughs> and if you did, you'd call the cops, wouldn't you, friends, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> name any country I will attempt to name a dude from it. France, le dude or como tally dude? <laughs> Germany, dude or Meister? <laughs> Russia, dude or Koffer Gorby dude? <laughs> Australia, Kanger dude? <laughs> Korea, take one dude. <laughs> you are awesome!